I'm Julian Ovenden. Tanya Franks. Giles Torreira. Michael Benz. In this new European premiere of Paul Brillong's Power of Sale. Power of Sale deals with a lot of subjects that we're dealing with, you know, that society is dealing with at the moment in terms of race, tribalism, cancel culture, deplatforming, gender politics. This play takes place in America, um, but it could be happening anywhere. It takes place in Harvard University, so it's like a, it's a campus story, but then it has much wider significance. It deals with, uh, obviously, the politics within the university, but of course the outside politics as well. One of the major themes is about the freedom of speech and about who you, who, when you give a platform to certain people, what are you doing when you do that? The play allows, I think, a lot of space ultimately for an audience to make up their own mind about what, what they're seeing and what they're, they're being told. And it kind of does that in a really smart way because of how information is kind of uh, given to you. Power of Sale was first produced in, in 2019 when, when some of these issues on college campuses were, were bubbling up. But in the years since, some of the issues at hand about free speech, uh, offensive speech, hate speech, they've, they've become uh, even, even more in the news. It can really stir emotions. It can certainly stir people politically. It's food for thought, for sure. If you give somebody access to say, for example, hate speech, is that freedom of speech? Or is that allowing something that should be shut down to take place on, for example, a university campus or in the media? In a way, the situation that happens in the play could be seen as quite a simple one. If you're, if you're watching the play, you kind of go, well, I believe that, or you might say, I believe that. Whereas actually what the play then starts to do is go, it's much more complicated than that. It's very present with how much we do allow free speech, the freedom of speech, and how much we do allow for platforms to really have a balanced view, love or hate the views, but whether we allow that to happen. I think in the play, all the characters are very layered, which is always what you want, because as we as humans are very complicated. We're not, it's not sort of, this is a good person, this is a bad person. We're all messed up and we're all capable of being um, problematic, making problematic choices. We're all capable of being intolerant of other people. And that to me is a sort of fascinating paradox and a fascinating contradiction. And the play, I think, all the characters, to a certain degree, have those contradictions within them, which make for, I think, a really interesting 90 minutes in the theatre.